Okay, now let's talk about what is your purpose, the main purpose of, of this initiative. Okay, so when this was uh, introduced last year, the goal was to, um, for the Western students, the purpose is to learn more about global health and become a culturally sensitive professional, like I said. And what we, what we uh, hope to do by returning to the same area each year is to help promote a sustainable health care program within that shelter and the community. Uh, each year we go, we'll do an assessment of the community and ask the local nurses and the workers there what the community needs most. And then when we return, we'll fundraise for those kind of, um, those kind of tools that they need. And when we return the next year, we'll, we'll bring them or offer them money to buy them locally to support the economy there. Okay, now let's go from back to the future. So, which was the, the, the main need you found uh, after you, your trip last year? Um, the main need, um, like materialistic, like in a material sense, was yeah. um, equipment for the kids, such as uh, pediatric blood pressure cuffs and stethoscopes and otoscopes, which we were able to donate to them. They don't have a lot of medical supplies for these kids. Um, there's only one nurse on site for all 47 kids. They don't have a doctor, so the nurse is taking care of all these 47 kids, and he didn't even have um, enough uh, uh, supplies or anything to take care of them and so basically medical nursing supplies that these these uh, this nurse needs for these kids now for this coming year knowing now that, that you, you oh, you're gonna need all of this to bring this year what else do you need um, we also need uh, pediatric pulse oximetry meters so if um, anyone watching is working at a local hospital and could perhaps <laughs> talk to their significant their superiors, and they could um, <laughs> donate to our cause. Okay, now we're going to go uh, to Sam. Sam is one of the creators with Debbie Gaitan. She was the main uh, brain of this uh, initiative. Now uh, Sam joined her, and so Sam is going to tell us a little bit about the history of this initiative. So Sam, uh, could you tell us how this initiative uh, start? Well, um, it was uh, myself, uh, Amanda, um, and a few other young ladies, nursing students, um, Bernice, uh, Nova, and Riza, uh, of course with Davy. Um, we formulated this initiative. Uh, Davy was the main architect, and actually how it started was uh, we were friends. And we were thinking about what we can do. We're, we, we both are very active when it comes to our activities and, and she was telling me about her passion for global health and I had read um, an article in a newspaper in St. Thomas that uh, there was a young girl who actually raised money to go to Tanzania. So I said, we can do that. I have some business connections, I have uh, abilities and you know, with some talents of some friends, we can raise money. Um, so what we, did, uh, what we did next was we uh, tried to align ourselves with other uh, credible uh, organizations that would help us raise funds. And they in turn needed the group name, um, you know, all these requirements naturally to look at uh, projects and uh, that's when Davy basically um, took it upon herself uh, and created the Latin American Nursing Student Initiative. Um, so all of us nursing students basically uh, all the nursing students and myself, um, the local science student, we got together and we, we started doing this all together. Um, the other aspect to our um, uh, fundraising and um, our initiative is actually to create uh, an elective course through the London Health Sciences, um, through the University of Western Ontario, through the Health Science Program. So students can go abroad and um, help assist uh, different organizations and actually receive a university credit. This is something a lot of universities are undertaking right now. Before we go to Kelly, we're going to go to Eileen Berman. She is uh, Dr. Berman. Uh, she is a teacher who is uh, going in this uh, trip in this, uh, with this initiative. So, uh, Dr. Berman, why don't you tell us what is your role in this initiative? Sure. Well, I think one of the things that's really exciting about this initiative is the fact that it is student-led, student-run, and I really see my, my own role personally as one of looking at how we as a faculty can support and extend the work that the students have started. So I'll be developing um, relationships with people there in, in the agencies that the students will be at. 
um, and looking at other kinds of possibilities, other um, clinical practice opportunities for students in the future. Um, also looking at possibilities of research. I'm also a researcher here at the University at the Center for Research and Education on Violence Against Women and Children. And, um, and so looking at how we can build on and extend the work that they've been doing. We are in the process, as Sam mentioned, that there is a course that's being developed, a global health course that will be housed within the Faculty of Health Sciences. And um, there, so there will be a course component and then a practical component. component. So the practical component will be a travel, um, an international travel experience. So I see this as really an important way of understanding what health promotion is all about. And um, when I talk about health promotion, we talk about really developing partnerships with communities and working um, in collaborative relationships, following the the need, um, the lead, and the needs that they've identified. So it's not us going in as the experts and deciding what people need to promote their health, but really um, understanding it from their perspective and and working collaboratively with them to facilitate that process. This is uh, um, a game for everybody. Uh, sometimes in our life we take for granted all what we have and we miss that little piece of uh, uh, giving. Uh, and it's important for everybody to put your heart outside and give to somebody else.